Hello YouTube RC fans. Um, this is my re-review of my Maverick, my Maverick Evo. It's the XB buggy version and this is what it looks like now. I have had this car for uh, over three years now. Um, it's been driven a lot, it's been bashed around, um, it's had some ups and downs. This is the one that on my YouTube channel I blew out uh, a motor on it, just driving around my, my backyard. Um, but it's had it's had a recent facelift, a uh, recent rebuild. Um, took it completely down to bare basics, stripped it down, um, cleaned everything, uh, polished it all up, put it all back together again. Uh, new body shell, new spray paint, new colors, new wheels, everything. Um, the only thing that's the same from the original car is basically front bumper, um, the spoiler mounts and the chassis. Um, everything else is kind of new. Uh, new shocks are obviously one of the big things. Let me point those out right now. These are G-made 85 mil, uh, 14 millimeter wide big bore shocks. They are superb. Um, they're just so silky smooth. Um, I've had them before on a Tamiya Stadium Blitzer, which was one of my primary kind of bash vehicles. Um, and I decided to splash out on these. As you also might notice, there is nice bling there. That's uh, four mil um, machined alloy, not pressed like the originals. They're a lot more robust uh, and they're just lovely. And I have them on the front and on the rear of the vehicle as well. So they they uh, they add a lot of rigidity to it. Um, that could cause issues under heavy bashing, but I'm not intending to bash this. I'm more intending to take you around tracks, etc. Um, because of the added rigidity here, it puts more pressure onto the actual diff case. Um, but I'm leaving a lot of the flex in this. Um, I did have alloy turnbuckles as well, but they proved to be a bit stiff, and they also worked themselves loose. So I lost tracking um, while driving it. I have alloy C-hubs on the front. Um, again, I had invested in alloy hubs for the rear, but decided just to keep the, the basic plastics um, on there, which keeps some of the flex. So it's, it's stiffer as such, so it's got better handling um, at the front, but it still maintains some of the original kit's flex, which is what made these cars so robust in the first place. Um, and it's it's a winning feature of them. You know they are um, under normal driving conditions. The the Maverick Ranger cars are bulletproof. They're amazing, amazing things. Um, all metal gear um, inside the diffs. Basically, they're just standard. I just gave them a good tune up. Replaced the ball bearings um, all the way through, and I have a new set of blackout wheels. Um, more of a a general purpose tread at the moment. Um, I do have sets of tyres for various conditions for this as well. I've got mini spikes for Astro, I've got some spike turf rippers for grass. Depends on what I want to drive. Um, I'll look inside now, show you what's changed on the inside of the car. I'll get this off. So we now have all new electrics. Um, nothing is the same as what was with the original. I have a new um, six kilogram uh, torque waterproof servo from HPI. Uh, I also have uh, one of the new HPI uh, waterproof down to 15 turn ESCs. Uh, that's a really nice piece of kit. It has not gotten warm yet at all once I've been driving this so it's been brilliant. Um, that's paired up with a 20 turn Saturn um, again HPI motor um, with a nice little bit of a heat sink on there as well. Um, everything else there um, not much has changed. I, I have a Fly Sky control system, which is over here. This is a 2.4 gig now, um, orange and black to match the car. I know that's a bit silly, but hey, it's kind of cool. These things I've had a few in the past. Uh, I've got a number of cards linked up to these. Um, I have a multi-memory version of it, which I have eight cars on at the moment. But they're amazing value for money. 
Um, the whole kit only costs £17 for the handset and the receiver. And you can get these receivers for about £3 a piece off of eBay. So great value for money. Um, anyway, you know, that's, that's how she's looking now. I've replaced all the, <coughs> the dog bones. Um, the last time I drove it, it didn't go brilliantly. Uh, and I managed to, to bend one of the dog bones. But, you know, these kind of things happen. Um, I've polished up and cleaned up all the, the underneath, uh, so I gave that a good um, tidy up. There's, there wasn't much damage to it anyway, so but there's still some little scratches there. But I managed to buff out the bulk of them, replaced almost all the fittings and fixtures, all the screws are new. Um, I've even gone to the point of having gold M3 nuts on most of the, most of the parts. But uh, yeah, I think, I think it's looking really nice. Um, I haven't really gone to town driving this yet um, with the new setup. Uh, I've taken it out on my street a few times um, and I gave it a quick run on a bit of off-road, uh, but nothing major. But it's, it's just so nice that the suspension is working beautifully now. It's got amazingly nice damping on there. Um, no bounce. Um, Nice, nice amount of droop. I am really looking forward to taking this little thing out to a track um, and see how it, well it performs against, you know, comparative cars. Um, I'd be quite happy to drive this against some of the more modern Tamiya's, some of the more pro vehicles. I think it's a great buggy. Um, Cost-wise, yes, this has not been a cheap upgrade. Um, the shocks alone. 60 pounds uh, for all four corners uh, other things though the the alloy relatively good value that that was 10 pounds for the the both shocks um, and a further 10 pounds for the hubs um, the bearing set was 15 pounds to replace the screw sets were another 15 pounds to replace all the screws um, obviously it's got new electrics ESC is 26 pounds uh, the motor is 10 servo was 14 so i've more or less spent the same on the upgrades as what the original car costs um overall it's, it's worked out to be about 100 pounds or so on the on the updates um, but i think they're well worth it um and once you've had a car for so long and you've you've gone through um driving it and you've got attached to it sometimes you just need to give that car another lease of life um, and rather than just buying another car, I decided to totally rebuild and update this one. And I'm still looking into other options. There are alloy um, suspension mounts for front and back that are available. They look like a, a potentially good upgrade. Um, so we'll see about that. But there you go. That is my evolution of the Evo. Uh, and at some point in the near future, um, I'll get this uh, powered up and I'll do a running video somewhere. I need to find a, a nice clay track or something or an astro track to be able to take it around. I think it would do really well on those. Um, but we'll see. Hopefully in the near future we'll get a driving video. So I hope, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, run around my upgraded car. Um, I love it. I think it's really nice. Uh, and hopefully uh, you'll see the driving video soon. Thank you for watching.